Carrie Lane in for Carlene tonight and uh, started off as kind of an iffy day ended pretty nice. Yeah, it did. It was wet and cool this morning. Temperatures are definitely below average, mm -hmm. but we're actually going to start warming up over the next couple of days. So if you're tired of these cool, cold conditions, I've got something for you. you just got to be patient. Couple more days. Current temperatures right now along the coast. We are in the low 50s. Same for the inland valleys. Poway a little cooler at 49. Palomar Mountain 36. Borrego Springs 63 degrees. This is the uh, change in temperature from this time last night to now. So you can see along the coast anywhere from 3 to 7, even 8 degrees cooler tonight. Oceanside 8 degrees cooler. Look at Poway, Ramona, El Cajon. Most of the inland valleys about 7 degrees cooler. So you might feel it if you're out there. You may definitely need a jacket tonight, but that's not going to stick around for long. We are definitely going to warm up starting tomorrow. So this is where some of the highs were today. This is where we should be. As you can see, we are below the seasonal norm. We will make up for that in the next few days. Let's take a look outside. Wow, a few clouds still hanging out there. A little hazy tonight. Not the clearest view, but things are going to change tomorrow. High pressure is building. We're going to dry out and we're going to warm up. We're also going to see these breezy con uh, conditions persist through Thursday. Again, that gradual warming trend will start to tomorrow continue through Friday and then we'll see things slightly cool off as we get into Saturday. But don't you worry, temperatures will rebound rather quickly on Sunday and next week is going to be impressive. As for the winds, this has been an issue for the past couple of days continues to persist here in San Diego County. As we get into tomorrow, most of the gusts in the 20 mile an hour range, things tend to die down in the overnight hours and then Thursday we're going to see lots of red and purple on the screen. Look at Julian 57 miles per hour, 50 in uh, Pine Valley, Ramona 38. Finally, Thursday night into Friday, these winds should die down for the final time and hopefully be right where we want it to be. This low pressure system right now, this is what brought all that snow to Texas. Boy, they are really struggling right now. This low pressure system is going to move off to the northeast. Most of the Midwest really just cold and frigid, a lot of below zero temperatures. Another low pressure system is going to move in Thursday and Friday over the northern part of Texas. This is going to bring more snow and even rain. The good news is it's a much weaker system, so it will not have quite the punch that the one they just got had. So hopefully they will be able to dig out of this snow shortly. After that, a warming trend will start for most of the nation next week, and hopefully Dallas and Houston and all those areas will be able to uh, get out of the snow and warm up a little bit. High pressure system will come in for us. This is going to come in um, Thursday and Friday. It's going to leave us on Saturday. We're going to have a cooling trough come in and then on Sunday another warming trend will continue and next week that could bring us some temperatures even up into the 80s. Along the coast we are going to be in the mid 60s, upper 60s by Thursday. You can see things cool down definitely on Saturday, but temperatures rebound nicely on Sunday. Look at this 74 along the coast, 77 inland. And look at this 81 by Monday for the inland valleys. That is absolutely gorgeous. As for the mountains and deserts, well, the mountain in the mid 50s, you're in the 60s by Friday, climb up to the 70s by Tuesday. The desert, absolutely gorgeous. A lot of sunshine. In fact, by the time we get to Tuesday of next week, we're at 84 degrees. So now we can finally go sit outside, do the patio outdoor dining thing and not freeze so much. Guys, we'll get it back to you.